Scorpio, welcome to your sexual tarot reading for the month of February. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Yes, I do sexual tarot. Specifically, I read sexual energy. Sexual energy is just but one more method in which to look at our relationships, where they're going, why. Okay? And if that's something of interest to you, I do provide private readings. Go to the description box. There you go. All right. You'll see for yourself. It's easy peasy. Honestly, they're just shorter versions of general love readings, but with like the occasional sexual twist here and there. It's fun. You'll see. What's going on? What's going on? I'm still not happy with your last general love reading. But I wouldn't have seen it if somebody didn't need to see it too. So let's shake up that energy. Let's get something new. Let's get something fun. Let's get something sexy and exciting and who knows what. Let's go. I see all sorts of stuff, honey. You know, I saw straight up lovers, multiple energy, lover energy with Aquarius. And then I saw long-term goal oriented stuff like I saw with Taurus. And then, and then I just get a variety of stuff in between, you know, that's the whole point. Number one question I get is, is this going somewhere? And sometimes, yeah, I can see it. Sometimes, no, I don't. Some of you might have recently ended something with the Pisces, specifically. Does not have to be. That's just confirmation for some of you. All right. Burdens, hardships. Yeah. Okay. I know. I want to clear the energy, please. Clear the energy, please. Clear the energy, please. I want to say something else. I want to say something... Something's coming up. There's heavy references to future. I don't know. Something's coming up. I don't know. I'm saying current, and I'm pointing this out, and I don't know why. I'm about to ask for the current placement. But I'm feeling that for many of you already, this is going to be future-oriented. I don't know. Take what resonates, live it does not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit. If it does resonate, feel free to put it in the comments. What's currently going on? What's currently going on? What's currently going on, please, for Scorpio? Some of that sexual... Two of Swords, over the hanged man. Many of you are in current contemplation of a decision. Are they made or not made? It feels so future-oriented. This feels future-oriented. A decision needs to be made, and it requires you... This, this, this... Let me make this clear. This is very uncommon Scorpio energy. You tend to be very decided. You going into Hanged Man once in a while, fine. You having two of swords once in a while, fine. Put those two together. I feel like for many of you, this is yet to be. Something requires you to make a decision and you're going into hanged man mode to figure it out. But for many of you, you're currently in a state of indecision. Retreat. You're not speaking to someone specifically. And it requires you to make a decision to change that or an offer to be presented to you. You can see how he's extending to her. I don't know. Time out regardless, be it current or future oriented, time out. Decision needs to be made. Some of the mutual, is there mutual energy here between Scorpio and their person? <clears throat> Abandonment energy, five of pentacles. You're not, you're not speaking. You're not speaking at this time. Five of pentacles. Another one of you. You both feel abandoned by the other person's energy, hence the time out. You're not speaking to each other. Mutual. You both feel it. It's not just you. It's not just them. It's the both of you. There's you. You made a firm decision, didn't you? And it was the Two of Cups. It was a soul connection that you're being very firm with. I don't know why. 
Show me strengths, please. Show me the strengths, please. Show me the strengths, please. The Five of Pentacles in this deck is unique in that it's heavy, 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 heavy romanticism. It's one of the few times you'll ever see Five of Pentacles depicted in a positive way. But that makes the loss or the disconnect that much harder. Okay, because there's a strong association of romantic energy here. But unfortunately, the abandonment is real. Like, the physical disconnect is real. So some of you have a very strong romantic notion of someone, and they of you, but you're disconnected. Show me the strengths, please. King of Pentacles. Let me know if you're a person, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Now, your strengths are simply that you're stable. You're about your stability. Okay? I saw the emphasis in your last general love reading. Your strengths are as your stability at this time. Many of you are doing quite well in your physical realms, your earth, your home, right? Your money. Stability is the name of the game. Many of you are quite stable, self-sufficient, self-functioning, all that. Okay. What's the weaknesses, please? Show me the weaknesses, please. Weaknesses, please. Show me the weaknesses, please, for Scorpio. Show me the weaknesses, please, for Scorpio. Issues, blind spots, obstacles. Issues, blind spots, obstacles, please, for Scorpio. Uh. Three of Wands, Ten of Wands. Mm. The longing is real. In this deck, unique. Very unique feature here. I don't think I've seen it depicted any other way in any other deck. Uh, the Ten of Wands in this one, if again you are new to sexual tarot, this means first penetration. There is a longing for physical contact with someone you have yet to have first penetration with. Okay, But uh, aside from that, you simply long for someone that you are disconnected from and you consider it a weakness. In other words, you want someone you can't have. So yeah, it's a weakness. And you know it. Your stability is great. It's strong as hell. You know, King of Pentacles is no insignificant energy. Many of you are just quite stable, comfortable. You might have trapped yourself in this sense of stability, you know, don't want to shake things up, you know, not willing to try, put yourselves out there, too afraid of the risk, okay? Um, because if you consider it such a strong strength as you do, perhaps you were just unwilling to explore a particular energy for the sake of comfort or stability, like you worked hard to achieve that, right? I understand. Chariot. Show me the outcome, please. Seven of Swords. Self-deception energy. Self-deception. Not just telling truths to your person, but truths to yourself. Okay. We don't like that outcome, do we? Okay, what's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Scorpio. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Scorpio. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, that's interesting. Am I saying somebody who was too afraid to take a risk? You had to concern yourself with your stability? You couldn't take a risk, you couldn't take a chance, and uh, you regret that? What's going on? <clears throat> show me the Hanged Man and the Two of Swords. Show me the Hanged Man and the Two of Swords. This is very uncomfortable energy for you. I don't like looking at it either. Um, show me the Hanged Man and the Two of Swords, please. Why is that here? Why is that here? Why is that here? Show me the Hanged Man and the Two of Swords, please. Okay. Your energy, your thoughts are shifting. Your thoughts are shifting. Show me the hanged man and the two of swords, please. Yeah. Some of you just, some of you just didn't have the nerve to go beyond a certain point. You wanted to stay single, nine of pentacles. 
you ended cycles, you tried to move forward, but you didn't have the nerve. Okay. It's okay. That tells me then you wouldn't be thinking about it this much if you didn't regret it to some extent. Some of you simply could not exit a state of singleness, like you just you just weren't ready to go beyond the Nine of Pentacles. Again, high emphasis on that stability and security. You wanted to, but you couldn't get the nerve. Page of Wands. Okay. You hung back in this state of indecision. You did, this is very unlike you, to defer and defer and defer. You weren't ready, you weren't ready. Okay, but some of you hung out in that energy of indecision for a very long time. Okay. So you let it go. You just, you weren't ready. I don't know how else to put that, you weren't ready. You had to concentrate on your security, confidence. Show me that Five of Pentacles, please. I don't know who this was to you, but they obviously meant something if you hung back in this state of indecision for as long as you did, okay? Show me that Five of Pentacles, please. Show me that Five of Pentacles. See, Eight of Pentacles. There is a desire in you both to make it work. Eight of Pentacles. This is again is mutual. There is a desire here to make it work. Again, that security, that comfort, that security over and over again. You had to make a decision regarding your security and comfort, so did you trap yourself in that? In your sense of security and comfort? You're afraid. It's okay. You both wanted to make it work, but um, you ended up abandoning each other's energies anyway. I just, honey, you know, if you had to concentrate on your stability, then that's what you had to do. If you weren't ready for a new relationship or commitment, there you go. That's it. I don't even know that you two, as far as I can tell, got to that physical level of intimacy. I just, it just looks, I feel like you were presented with a question or an offer. That's what it is. You were presented with a question or offer. You turned your back on it. Um, you concentrated on your own happiness. You turned your back on this, whatever it was. I, I just, uh, you had to concentrate on your happiness of home. Four of Wands, Emperor, back turned to the Six of Cups. Emphasis on your personal sense of security and stability. I think many of you were prompted with a question and it put you into a hanged man mode. And you stayed there for a long time. You just weren't ready to move forward. You didn't have the nerve and that's okay. That's okay. I think you both tried to make it work to some degree, but for some reason you couldn't go past a certain stage. Like you just, the emphasis on the stability is so high for you. Okay. Um, show me that King of Pentacles, please, as strengths. Show me that King of Pentacles, please, as strengths. <clears throat> Excuse me. Show me that King of Pentacles, please, as strengths. Your need for security was so very, very high. Six of Swords. Yeah, so you moved on and you moved away from this, whatever it was. You moved on and moved away from it. Um, you actually might have met this person at work, too, because there's such a heavy emphasis of coin here. Uh, see, you just weren't ready to address it yet. Okay, you weren't ready to address this. You weren't ready. This person meant enough to you that it actually put you in a state of hanged man mode with the two of swords on it. That's, that's pretty fucking serious for Scorpio. Okay. It was a question. It was a prompt. It was a something. Somebody prompted you with a romantic interest or passionate interest, whatever. And you actually seriously thought about it. Truly, seriously. This is a lot of thought. Okay. And uh, you couldn't get out of your Nine of Pentacles energy. And that's fine. You weren't ready. You just weren't ready. You wanted to be and it prompted you to think about it seriously, but when it came down to the nitty-gritty, yes or no, the answer was no. And you'd move on, honey, there's some moon energy you're working through right now. Let's let's just go ahead and take a... a but here's the thing, it's under your strengths, so that means you're aware of it. That means you're aware of it. That means you're aware of it. You weren't fucking ready, okay? Give yourself that credit. Show me the moon, please. Show me the moon, please. <clears throat> Show me the moon, please. What is it that Scorpio is working through? 
Your stability is of high importance and you're clinging to it. You're clinging to it because it's what you know to be true. Okay? This you can control. You can control your home. You can control your coin. But your passion and your emotionality, I can, it's grossly absent for a fixed water sign. You're the only fixed water sign. And your water is nowhere near here. Okay, let me know if you're done with Cancer. We have Pisces as well. Okay. Or you might be a double or triple water. In which case, this is absolute confirmation for some of you. Show me that moon energy, please. <clears throat> Show me that moon energy, please. You had, to, you had to concern yourself with your stability, honey. Okay. I don't know. But that seems to be of paramount to some of you. Or many of you, really. Uh... Page of Swords in the King of Wands. You could be watching somebody in your moon energy. True. You could be. Sure. But um, I'm actually interpreting this more as you watching your sense of passion. Because you're a very passionate creature, even though you're a water sign. You're actually the most passionate sign in the zodiac. Fire signs hate it when I say that. <clears throat> but it's also true. Scorpio is the most passionate sign in the zodiac. I feel like you are watching yourself. I'm not ready over the moon energy. I'm not ready. You're monitoring your own sense of passion. You're looking at your moon energy, and this is something, again, you're very comfortable with. You will notice the moon is in your strengths, not your weaknesses. You're very comfortable with your moon energy, addressing your difficulties. Why do I do what I do? That kind of thing. Okay? You're just not ready. That's it. I feel like you are monitoring yourself. Your weaknesses. Um, show me that Ten of Wands, please. It could be that some of you just... King of Cups. Oh, oh honey, finally there you are. Finally there you are. King of Cups, that is you. You consider your own heart space a burden. You're so shut down. You consider your own heart space a burden. So you cling to the coin because the coin makes sense to you. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Some of your decisions were made. You consider your own heart space a burden. Scorpio, you're trying to make me cry. Show me that three of wands, please. I believe your heart space is still longing and you consider that a weakness too. So many of you just shut down. See you. You're going to try to make me cry, honey. This is supposed to be sexual tarot. But I can't say I'm too surprised because um, Scorpio's sexuality and spirituality are intertwined. You cannot separate the two. Okay. So the fact that your own sense of feeling and direction is coming up so heavily as in pain and loss is not a surprise to me. Um... You anticipate to become yourself again, but in the meantime, you consider your heart space a burden. It's huge. Your heart space is huge, and it hurts so bad. You anticipate to get back to yourself one day. Or, perhaps you were dealing with a fellow Scorpio. In which case, your heart space very much longs for them. You had to cling to your coin and your home so you can feel stable, what it is you can control. Because right now your heart feels like it's out of control, not just out of control, but an actual burden to you. Okay. You, you consider yourself a weakness. Your passion, your love, your intensity. You consider that a weakness at this time. It's your perception, it's not fact. You know that, right? Perception is not fact. 
This is perception, it's not fact. Some of you have learned to equate your emotionality, your sexuality, your intensity as a burden. So, that would explain that Seven of Swords. Self-deceptive energy. Are you lying to yourself? Are you lying to yourself? Show me that Seven of Swords, please. I don't know who prompted you to go into this state, but um, it could be that somebody simply rejected you and they closed a cycle with you, I want to stay single, and they didn't have the nerve to move forward. I don't know. At one point, you two were at Eight of Pentacles. Let's try to work this out. But no, it still ended up being abandonment energy. It is heavy Scorpio. You might have been dealing with another Scorpio. Again, I'm obligated to point out that when somebody's power card shows up in the weakness, you have a fundamental weakness for that sign. Some of you have a fundamental weakness for a fellow Scorpio, or you yourself perceive yourself to be the weakness. Okay? You're being very hard on yourself. I can't even begin to express to you how hard you're being on yourself. A mature Scorpio does not apologize for their intensity. You embrace it. And you hope you can find someone who can appreciate everything you have to offer. It's your obligation in life. You are very passionate. You are very intense. You're not going to be everybody's cup of fucking tea. There's very few people who can handle that. Another reason why you're selective or you're meant to be. I think he thought you found someone like you. Turns out they weren't. That would explain why you are just working overtime to protect yourself and your stability. This is what I know. Show me that Seven of Swords energy, please. I'd be shocked how many people think, oh, I can handle that, I can handle that. No, they fucking can't. They really can't. You have so much to offer, you even see it as a burden, and that's fucked up. Some of that Seven of Swords, you're going to continue to hold out. You're, you're, uh, you're going to continue to hold out. You're just not ready. Okay. You're not ready. You're conserving your energy, your physical energy specifically. Four of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles. So you're going to continue to conserve it. You're heavily earth, pulling up heavy earth. You might have some earth in your chart, but that's not the point. Do you see, like, that's how hurt you are, that you had to go into an earth mode? Okay, in order to protect yourself. Do you understand? Okay. You are slowly but surely, slowly, the Knight of Pentacles, going into a Six of Wands. Slowly but surely, you are recovering. Slow and steady wins the race here, right? I know I give a lot of shit because he is the slowest moving knight, but he is the most practical and prepared for that reason. You will get your confidence back. Slowly but surely. Many of you are doing quite well, and you threw yourselves into work and coin exclusively. But you are reserving your physical energy, because you're still working through your seven of swords. You see yourself as the problem. Scorpio, I fucking call bullshit. You are not the problem. You just haven't embraced your natural strengths. Or somebody made you feel bad about your natural strengths. You thought you found your equal. You didn't. You'll have a new offer in time. I was told to look under the deck. You are going to be very self-secure at this rate that you're going. Someone will be sending you love messages. A substantial one. One that took time, effort to plan. Hope and a wish. Someone's taking a risk. Reconciliation with the lover, possibly. So, judgment. Perhaps it's best then, perhaps it's best that you reserve your physical energy. Something's coming up. Somebody I feel like is working on a 
somebody's working on something towards your energy. And you're quite solid by the time they approach. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. You're very solid. You went from six, eight, nine to ten pinnacle on your own. Like that's how much you throw yourself into your work, your career, your money. You went to a ten on your own. Someone's approaching you when you get to the ten phase. Ten of Pentacles. They had to work out an offer. It's strategic. You're going to take a risk. They see you as a high reward. Connecting with a lover. So perhaps it is best then. You reserve your energy. I was told to look under the deck. That's why. Reserve your energy. Trust this process. I'm not sure about time markers. <clears throat> 12, 12, they reduced to 3. 4, 5, 6. 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm sorry. Spring. Let's just call it spring. Early summer, maybe. Release them. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate is going to differ from you. Okay? They're going to be different from you. They might have a different spiritual background from you. They might be a different race, religion. Anything like that. I don't know. Adele's someone like you. I just heard that. Adele's someone like you. Adele, someone like you. Someone like you. Yeah. Past life relationship. This person, them, I don't know. Self deception energy is high here. Do not, honey. Like I said, a mature Scorpio embraces their intensity, they embrace their emotionality, they embrace their sexuality. Okay? Your obligation is to find someone who can appreciate that too. Okay. Romantic feelings very soon, I'm telling you. I know back here you're reserving your energy, particularly your physical energy, you're not giving it out anywhere. Fine, I agree with you. You're not done healing. I see it. You've gone into earth mode to protect yourself. Build your finances, your stability. And you will. And it's about that marker when you're at the height of your personal success that that's when this comes in. Do keep that in mind. Somebody's developing a plan or strategy to approach you. Okay? And possibly connect as lovers. Good. Hold off. There's a reason why you're being told to hold off. And you also need to work on you seeing yourself as the problem. Okay. Scorpio. <clears throat> Comment as you see fit. Like, share, subscribe as you see fit. Take care. Be well.